Hey everybody, it's Maurice for All Got Everything. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about being a Christian content creator and simply creating Christian content. So just to start off with, um, there's a lot of uh, different viewpoints and, and speculations on what Christians should do online, what they shouldn't do, how they should carry themselves, how they should, duck, should conduct themselves and things of that nature. So today I'm gonna to be talking about those very things. You know, what's required of someone who simply creates Christian content and what, is it, what does it mean to be a Christian content creator? There is a difference and I'm gonna show you today. It's gonna be everybody is we all got everything. It's gonna be It's gonna be Again, like I said in every one of my videos, I'm not gonna be one of those long-winded people that's gonna give you a big intro and then get to the point. So we're gonna jump right in. First, I wanna talk about being a Christian content creator. And if you have any opinions, thoughts, questions, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. I would love your opinions. Um, Cause as believers in Christ, uh, we shouldn't take offense by the things that others say and others do. We should only take offense of the gospel of Jesus Christ and be confident in our stance when it comes to Christianity. So when it comes to being a Christian content creator, the truth of the matter is anyone can create Christian content because it's content that points to Jesus whether you're going against or for what the Bible teaches, teaches, what Christianity stands for, you're in a sense creating Christian-based content. You're referring to Jesus Christ in your content. You're either defending the gospel or coming against it. It's still relative to Christianity in the sense, the content that you're creating. Um, and so it can be either comical, it can be Bible studies, you can even be sharing your church live ministry. However, it is still simply creating Christian content, content that is going to be for believers, content that is going to be relative or point in some kind of way to Christianity. And so when you have that, it's a wide range on what it could provide. The same thing with food. If you're a food creator, you can focus on the benefits of vegetables, you can focus on the benefits of meat, you can focus on the do's and don'ts. That is food content creation. And that is also being a Christian content creator. Um, oh, I mean rather creating Christian content, sorry. So so creating Christian content. So anyone can talk about any vantage point, any viewpoint when it comes to Christianity. Um, you will see a lot of people have a niche where putting the Bible on everything that's happening happening in a political arena. You can have, you have some people that their whole uh, repertoire of videos is talking about other Christian believers, pastors, musicians, artists, other YouTubers. And so it depends on what you're doing. They're creating Christian content, but some of them aren't even Christian that is creating this Christ-based content. So you have to identify what it is that you want to do. Are you, a create, are you a Christian creator or are you a Christian content creator? The difference is in this. So if you're a Christian creator, your lifestyle, what you say, what you do, should emulate Christ in some form or fashion. When people look at you, they should see a consistency in Christ. They should see someone who they can look to and say, okay, if we're all to live a certain lifestyle as believers, as Christians, then my life should model that. Now, I don't believe that there should be a certain restriction. This is my personal belief. I'm not saying this is bit taken out of the Bible, but if you're if you're in the Christian-based genre and your life lines up with Christ, um, then I feel like there's uh, uh, no restriction on how far you can go with your content as long as it lines up with Christianity. For example, you can be um, a comedian that creates Christian content. Some of the things I do are, are comically based. However, I don't steer away from really making fun of Christianity. I just put a little humor on the content that I learned from the Bible. Others do that as well. Uh, you can be one who writes music, makes music to the glory of the Lord. You can be one that teaches the Bible, but you can also be one that you know just shows what your family does day in and day out 
you know, what it's like to be a Christian family, right? And so you can show that imagery as being someone who creates content as a Christian. So what I mean by having a wide range is that you're not limiting yourself to worship music, to Bible studies, to online ministry, but you're just living your life as a Christian. You're just doing things as a Christian everyday life, but showing what it's like to be Christ in your content. That's what I mean by being a Christian creator. Now, on the other hand, with Christian content, uh, you want to make sure your life emulates that because some people get put under the spotlight when they're creating Christian content. Depending on what you're doing, you can get a lot of scrutiny. For example, someone that's always um, making their viewpoints on other pastors, believers, musicians, and that's what the whole page is about. My question for that individual would be, are you truly living life as Christ? What are you representing? Because if your life is not matching up with what you're teaching, then maybe you should correct yourself before you correct somebody else, right? But if your life emulates that and the Lord has called you to do that, then by all means, do what the Lord has called you to do. But there's a wide range of variety. So if you create Christian content, but you're not a Christian, uh, you know, you're not walking in life, fulfilling the things that Christ called us to, then I would recommend that you start looking at those areas. Because anyone can create Christian content, but only certain individuals can emulate Christ in their content. So the main focus of what you should be trying to understand as a believer is, one, what is the point in my content? What do I want to achieve in my content? When I'm presenting myself, am I lifting up the name of God? Am I lifting up the name of Christ? Or am I just putting something out there and calling myself a Christian? When I live my life, once this camera turns off, am I still emulating Christ or is it just something that is portrayed online? So there's so much that goes into uh, developing Christian content and being a Christian creator. So, and that can go in any line of music. Some people create, some, there's a lot of artists out there in, in music that have created gospel songs, Christian music, things like that. But you can look at their lives and tell that they don't emulate Christ. And a lot of people will be quick to say, well, you can't judge those individuals. As a Christian creator, there are certain principles that we ought to live by according to what the Bible teaches. You know, not lying, not, not stealing. Those are the basics. But living right, showing love, spreading the gospel, um, doing things as Christ would. According to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, according to Genesis through Revelations, there are certain principles that we should carry ourselves to be, and there are certain things that we ought to portray as believers in Jesus Christ, whether we're creating content or not, right? So people will be quick to come on your comments, even come on this comments and say, well, you can't say that, you can't judge this, you can't do that. Well, if it's according to the Bible and if it's in scriptures, you have a range of things that you are able to do according to the word of God. Now, the next step comes, what has God called you to do? Some have been called to certain ministries. Some have been called to certain things. Some have been called to certain areas. You know, some people are, you know, musicians. And so they win souls through music. Others are uh, comedians. So they spread the gospel through a comical aspect. Some others just teach the Bible. They get on here and say, let's open up to the book of Genesis and read chapters one, two, three. That's all great. That is all perfect. So I admonish you, if you're a Christian creator, find out what God has called you to do and do that to the glory of the Lord. Otherwise, you're just creating Christian content for the sake of creating Christian content. And if I had any suggestions, if there's anything else that you've got from this video or something I should talk about in regards to what I shared here on today, please leave a comment below. Um, if you agreed or disagreed, leave your comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I love the feedback. I love what you guys' uh, inputs are in regards to being a Christian, creating Christian content, being a content creator that is Christian, however you, uh, however you vocalize it. Um, leave your comments below, hit that subscribe button and hit that share button. And as always be encouraged, be blessed, 
be inspired. Catch you on my next video.